It's 15 years we've been together. 15 amazing, beautiful years. Why are you lying? Justine's taking a picture of, uh, what do you call it, room service? Orders. So you guys, the, the room is nice though. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. We did, we did pretty good here. This room. Bathroom is crazy. Got nice balcony. Only thing is they don't got a microwave. That's kind of weird. You guys can see balconies looking out into uh, this is Fifth Street. We're in Naples, Florida. This is a weird space. Fifth Avenue. Oh, my bad, Fifth Avenue. Little plug. But it's um terrible weather. They got like a hot tub on the on the rooftop and like pools and stuff. But we're afraid to go out there because it looked like it's going to storm. So we're just gonna chill. The drinks are complimentary. It's all you can drink, all you can eat. Uh, from five to ten. From five to ten, every day. Woo! From five to ten, this but is where only, we at. But you have to be in the club like suites. So to get that perk, you gotta upgrade to club level, which I think is totally worth it. You're gonna get the drinks. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, this is crazy. Y'all didn't get to see what I ate before this. I wish I would have showed y'all. But this is right here is on another level. Crazy. Yeah, nice restaurant. Really nice restaurant. This food is the best I've ever had in my life. The best we ever had? Why it look that color? Why it look so perfect? Two squad. That's crazy. Light clean. Disrespectful. Bro, this coffee. Bro, you told me I was gonna like this coffee. This shit is crazy. It is so good. It is so good. All right, guys, we are back from our anniversary weekend getaway. Had a good time. It was dope. Honestly, we didn't do much in Naples. Naples was nice. The food was delicious. That place, Sales Restaurant, probably the best restaurant I've ever been to. It was worth every single penny. Honestly, like it was raining the whole weekend, so we didn't get to hit the beaches. We didn't get to really use the pool or the hot tub at the actual hotel, but it was still nice to just like relax. You know what I'm saying? Spend some time, lay back, hang out with the wife, you know what I'm saying? And um, honestly, I enjoyed it, but I'm ready to get back to work. So I'm about to react to a couple videos. You'll probably be watching one of those reaction videos. Um, the cheapest haircuts is probably already uploaded. So don't miss it, go check it out. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss no more videos. Another one I'm reacting to, I'm actually probably gonna put in this vlog. So yeah, check it out now. <sighs> All right, so I ran across this article on Forbes. It's an older article. I mean, this is from 2008, but I wanted to kind of check it out, read it a little bit, and see if anything that we're saying kind of holds true today. It's 2020, 12 years later. Forget the metrosexual male manicure. Men now want an old-fashioned straight razor shave like grandpa would have gotten at the corner barbershop, but they want it with luxurious emollients, a $1,200 razor, a game of pool afterwards, and maybe a bourbon or two. That sounds dope. We're not trying to get men to change their behavior, says Erica, founder of The Art of Shaving. Yeah, The Art of Shaving at that time wasn't really a barbershop though, right? Like, was it? Malcolm and his wife, uh, Miriam, opened their first shaving shop in 19... 19- yeah, okay. Okay, so The Art of Shaving with $12,000 from the proceeds of selling her BMW. I love that story. So that's the story of The Art of Shaving. They started with money that they got from selling their Beamer and they put it into a barbershop. Now they have 30 barbershops um, around the country and sell $35 million a year worth their luxury shaving products. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Now the auto shaving definitely has more than 30 stores. They have, I think, two here in Tampa. Check this out. I've told stories before about the times that I've been to Russia. I've been to Russia, I think, three or four times now. They really, really spend money on their products. Customers love spending money on their products. Like, this is a country that, like, or a city that the average person makes like 500 bucks a month or 800 bucks a month. And these people are spending a bunch of money on grooming products. So check this out. It says here, Malka sells about 80 of his 1,200 silver cast razors a year. A quarter of those in Moscow alone. I'm not surprised. That's crazy though. I need to know what these razors are. All right, that one's $200. 
Where's the $1,200 one? All right, maybe they don't have them no more. Their brushes run up to $700. Look, selling and experience. Have I not been talking about this with the reaction videos? I don't think they run their businesses like this no more. I feel like they've gotten too big for it. Maybe they realized there wasn't enough of an addressable market to keep those $1,200 razors and services like this. What's more, he understands he needs to create a unique experience and a sense of exclusivity. Yearly memberships range from $750 to $5,000 a year. Depending on the amount of services you desire, the platinum shaving package which includes a shave haircut and massage runs $250. It makes sense, but all right, let's look at these luxurious barbershops. This is Art of Shaving, $55 Royal Shave gets you a hot towel. I used to think that was pricey, but honestly now, $55 seems more than reasonable for one of those shaves. The Barbershop Lounge. This is one $250 platinum package includes a haircut, scalp massage, hot towel shave, hand and foot treatment, 60 minute massage, and a shoe shine for $250. I guess this is 2008 because that seems like it's, it's too cheap. Think about an hour massage plus a haircut, hot towel shave. You're going to be in this barbershop for at least three hours, yo. The Shave of Beverly Hills. Let's look at these pictures. It looks like a nice barbershop. The Hollywood barbershop and glittery, presumably hard drinking crowd. Clients are given the, the choice to have scotch, bourbon, whiskey, or beer. The signature $75 shave is a 45 minute process and begins with a hot towel and ends. I'm clean my steam towel. Appreciate it. Okay, these prices are right, but they're in Beverly Hills. You can get your shave on location. That means they'll come to your house for the small fee of $900. All right, this is the shaving company in New York City. Yeah, pre-World War II era. Yeah, you can see that. With, it's giving that type of vibe, the look of the shop. A complimentary shaving consultation in the shaving laboratory with a master barber who can guide you to the perfect shave while illustrating your hair growth on a chart. Okay. How much that thing run? About a thousand. The grooming lounge. That's a nice looking spot. This is in DC, Washington, DC. So their hot towel shave is, is $55. Remember, this is back in 2008. Ooh, the $450 Supreme Court package. A shave, a massage, face cleansing, a mani-pedi. Look at this. Ed Rey Executive Club Barber and Spa. Look at that. I don't know, man. I don't know if I, if I would even... I'm not the type of guy that would want this type of service. That's kind of OD. The Ray Grooming Package, $450. True Fit and Hill. I actually seen a video about True Fit and Hill. The world's oldest barbershop according to the Guinness Book of of world records damn the shop's popular three-piece sterling silver razor set which includes weighted razor handle silver tip badger hair brush and a stand runs 27 hundo sheesh but the shaves are 55 dollars. i bet you today them things 75 let's look at their videos the true fit in hill i feel like i've seen their videos before true fit in hill this is their actual channel yeah, they're making money. They got memberships. Look, member testimonial. I need a nice video where I can kind of see the experience. This might be it. What's up, guys? Welcome to our dining. His hair does not look like it's easy to cut at all. Oh, yeah, they got the suit on. I like an open concept. It got too many rooms and halls and stuff. Like, I don't know. Start with the service. Yeah. They requested me to take off my jacket. Wow. Wait, they didn't take the jacket off for you? I'm messing. I think it's cool when you have all those like aftershaves and like lotions and stuff. You got a nice collection. You got a nice collection of all that stuff. It looks dope, man. Like as a customer, I just want to open them up, smell them, you know what I'm saying? Ask you what they are. He got his aftershaves and his lotions and his creams, you know, like a bartender has high-end liquor, you know? I could tell you technically the way he's cutting his hair. Barbers who who are really up on their shear game, that's kind of rough how he's cutting it with shears, just because it's just not as clean. His tension is loose when he's when he's pulling the hair up. I would have thought for the prices that he's charging, he'd be like a section god or something. <laughs> Hot. Head massage with hot coconut oil. Hot coconut oil. I want to experience that. I want to know what that what, what that's about. Definitely want to experience that. Well, this is really fun. 
He got an upgrade to the wireless massager that Babyliss came out with. So right now, Abhi, uh, it's a hot towel for relaxation. Uh, but then it's a peel-off mask session now. Let's start. Put it over the eyes. That's tough. That's tough too. That's crazy. So bar ko proper set karna. Amazing, I loved it. Thank you so much. Feeling like a new man. So it seems like a simple shop. It doesn't look like they spent a, a million dollars on the barbershop. It's really the experience they're selling, man. I bet you you listen to all of these testimonials, and that's what you're gonna get. All right, let me get to the warehouse. Got got some more work to do. All right, so you guys haven't seen the warehouse since it was pretty much naked. It was empty. There was nothing in it. You see. All right, so Danny bought a new screen that he wants me to check out. Look at this screen, man. What in the world? Guys, it's huge. Compared to my MacBook, look at this screen. It's like three MacBooks. All right, so I just connected my laptop to the screen. Oh my gosh. You can see how dirty my uh, desktop is with all these uh, icons. But this is just insane. This is just crazy. I'm hanging out here from now on. He's going to have to fight with me to use this. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> Let me see what the, the editor looks like. Cause this is crazy. <laughs> Editing video on this is crazy. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I'm mind blown. It has a webcam attached to the monitor. So you can look direct into the monitor. One of the big benefits of this thing is that you can just go USB-C directly to your laptop and then like the ethernet cord, everything plugs into your monitor. It's a game changer right there. All right. It's time to bounce. I got three haircuts today. Some football players that I got to cut later on. I got to drop a video for the academy. It's going to be like an in-depth tutorial. Probably like 45 minutes long to an hour. And then go home. Spend some time with the family. Oh, babe. What you doing here, girl? I called you. What's up, mama? Why are you didn't take my call? I don't have my phone on me, I guess. Mm -hmm. My bad. Well, never mind. I am not going to go do all that I just planned because my wife just reminded me that she... Needs help shipping. So so usually what we do is uh, we have like a set schedule for as far as, you know, when we can take clients and we try to communicate whether we have a client or not because she works at the studio. Every Wednesday and every other Friday, I take appointments. But if I have like a client that needs a haircut, something like, like that, after hours or something like that, then I'll just sync with Justine to make sure that she doesn't have appointments. She doesn't have to have to be at the studio. And that way we, we can collaborate on who's going to watch the kids or do we need to drop the kids off at the in-laws or whatever. Sometimes it's chaotic, but we make it work. So anyway, she just got done with a haircut appointment and I didn't realize that she uh, needed to ship today. So yeah, time to help her ship and then try to squeeze in the Academy video and then show up to my appointments later today. Little by little, we're gonna move all these pallets to the warehouse. Dre and Danny are working on moving the actual like racks over here as well. Hopefully we get this done pretty quickly. Beam teams are going out. All those of you who place orders, they are going out. We're catching up little by little. Like I always tell you guys, you still order, it's your spot in line. So when we do get inventory in, regardless if it's on back order, we ship in the order that, that they're received. And now we're at the, the blade open, and this is pretty much where we can quickly complete this. Um, we're just gonna close it little by little until it's down to a zero, pull out the trimmers. Then the shaver, you gotta get it down to a shaver still. But you can see how nicely it's blending into all that length there, especially that length that's on the occipital bone. If you notice, we stayed below the occipital bone when we did this. I gotta go up a little bit probably with the blade halfway open, but it's flowing nicely. This is where we're going all the way closed. Then we're gonna go in, look at it from this angle, and this spot right here, I'm definitely gonna chip away at. Wasn't expecting this. Got a, a package from Gamma. Let's see what it is. Gamma stays sending me stuff, man. Gotta, gotta respect it, gotta respect it. One thing Austin knows how to do is get his product seen. Definitely a fan of the, the Ergos. Those were cool. Let's see what's in here. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay. I think these are the magnetic turbocharged magnetic motor. Let's try them out. Shavers, blades, shaver head. This is that new shaver they just came out with. You got some more toys to play with. Ooh, these are nice. Austin, Gamma, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the care package. Can't wait to uh, try these out.